Ugh, seriously? That was my last one. Just my luck. Uh. Look, if you're not here to give me a spare cigarette and a lighter, you can screw off. I don't care about anything you're selling here. Bye. I... Oh. I... You're... <clears throat> hey. Hi. What are you doing out this late? Bar's closed, you know. <laughs> right. A midnight stroll. God, it's always the good-looking ones that are somewhat weird. Have you not learned anything from uh, those, you know, true crime shows and stuff like that? Dangerous being out at night. You could, uh get kidnapped or butchered and left in some garbage dump. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm looking to turn into some alleyway and wait for someone who will make my life fun. No, I'm not out here for that. It's been a, it's been a day, and I've, I was just trying to blow off some steam. Keyword is was, I just ran out of cigarettes, so, no I can't. You wouldn't happen to have any on you, maybe a lighter too. Great. Fucking great. <laughs> no, I don't need you to pay for anything for me. I'm gonna go get one. Coming? Nice. Cool. Let's go. <sighs> nice. It's just been a day. Lots of customers and loud music, all of that. They can get to you, so this is my way of coping with it. Smoking a pack of 20 until I feel calm enough to do it all over again. The shop. Yeah. She's my favorite gal. Always keeps a good batch of cigarettes for me. She knows which ones are my favourites, so I always come to her. And she ends up giving me some discounts sometimes, because she knows I can't live without them. <sighs> God, some people are great in this world. Beats my parents. <laughs> hey, love. Ah, oh, hello, darling. It is good to see you again. Mm, good to see you, too. Usual, please. Ah, oh, you must have had a long day. You just came in for some this morning. Yeah, stressful day. It happens. <sighs> that it does. Don't worry, I have some set down for you just in case. Let me go grab them. Thanks a bunch. See? It's my favorite. <laughs> <sighs> Right, I have the two packs that I put down. You can have them both. You just need to pay for one. I can tell you've had a long day. You're going to need it. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Ah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Alright. I'll see you in the morning. I'll be open like usual. Get home safe. And please, for the sake of your lungs, do not smoke all at once. <laughs> you already know I'm going to be going through all of these tonight. <laughs> that is why I said to have mercy on your poor lungs. 
Until then, love. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow, Val. So, uh, thank you for coming with me. Um, you can leave now. Yeah, you have this walk to go on, right? I'll be fine here. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I just need some time to think is all. You are, um, persistent, aren't you? It's... It's just been a long day. I'm starting to get... I'm starting to get tired of... everything. Uh, I'm I'm in this in this loop. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I wake up, smoke, shower, eat, and I go out to work. And I come back home, drink. I'm in sleep. I'm in this... I'm in this cycle. And dealing with... Dealing with things. But I want to be there to help everyone else. You tend to meet people going through their own problems, so... You feel that obligation to help, in a way. Well being unable to solve your own problems. I've been going through a lot of shit. And it's becoming harder and harder to cover up that I've been going through a lot of shit. So I smoke. And I distance myself from anything and everything. And then I put on a facade to try and hide that I'm going through things, but nothing, nothing changes how much I want to scream and cry, how much I want to just break everything around me. <laughs> and I just have to keep bottling it. Because I have shit to do and I don't have time to do it. I don't have time to let out these emotions. <laughs> to scream about how awful my parents are. How they love to remind me that I could be in a better place if I decided to focus more or follow what they wanted me to do with my life. How good life could have been if I just listened to what someone else wanted for me. How fucked up is that? Me wanting my own life means that I'm a failure. <laughs> I feel like if I cry about it. They win. I try to help people by giving them advice that I should be taking, but I'm just too stupid to. That I take advice from a hypocrite. <laughs> hypocrite telling them that they can make it through this when I... I struggle to see how I'm going to make it through the next day. ridiculous. I give out these advices, things that 
help people get through those rough patches, but I can't get out of the rough patch myself. Despite knowing how to, it feels impossible to. So I stay stuck in this loop. I'm stuck in a loop that feels like I can never break out of. I'm stuck giving myself goals and expectations that I'll never be able to reach because anything small is too small to be proud of. And unless I reach something big, then I'll just remain stuck in this fucking cycle. And when I try to reach out for help on what to do, I feel like my fucking parents are winning. Because, you know, if I let them control my life, things would be fine and I wouldn't be doing the fucking job I wanted to do. Because fuck what I want, right? I'm tired of people telling me what to do. I'm tired of people trying to control my life. It's my fucking life and they don't get a right. What they want isn't something that I should want as well. We're all different fucking people. And... I... <laughs> you know what? I think that's exactly what I needed to hear. I really do need to tell them to go fuck themselves, huh? compliment it now. But you're right. I don't need that in my life. Even if they're blood related. Fuck them. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm gonna fucking do. If you're not there to support me or help me or just be there for me and just there to tell me that hey your life would have been better if I could have controlled it then fuck you you don't deserve to be in my life <sighs> thank you <laughs> despite the fact we don't talk much I often end up smiling when around you at least I talk to a lot of people because of the bar, but I don't really hang out with anyone. No one I can consider a friend. <laughs> Maybe you'll be one of the first, huh? <laughs> Alright. I think the rain has gotten me wet enough. Oh, don't give me that look. You know what I mean. <laughs> I... Do... Do you want to walk me home? I can finish your, uh... Weird midnight stroll. That way. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. And hell, if you are some sort of serial killer that I've been expecting, That'd be a pretty interesting story for the news headlines and shit, huh? <laughs> oh, seriously? I'm just going out for a midnight stroll? That is so serial killer. Yeah, whatever. You should think about something else to say. Just say you want to go find a prostitute or something. People will think that it's less serial killery if you do that. I think. <laughs> uh, all right let's get going i really don't want to catch a cold in this 
Hello, my darlings. Meet Val. She, because of the uh, art that I've used of her, it's from uh, VA11 Hall 1, which is like Valhalla, um, the cyberpunk bartender. Um, she's based off of her because of the art that I've used for her in the previous episode and this episode. Um, so I decided to name her Val uh, because Teehee. <laughs> she is going to be a reoccurring character she's probably going to be in series um and probably going to get other spin-off episodes and such uh i'm going to do a full description on her and all of that uh in at a later date but she's supposed to be a more down-to-earth character that people can relate with um and instead of like a whole mythic fucking woman with superpowers or some slime girl or something like that uh like some of my other characters like uh boom and gloom for example um she is just a regular human um with regular human problems uh so i hope you guys enjoyed this one um uh for the question of the day uh what is your flavor flavor what i'm not editing that out what is your favorite kind of water what, like, what kind of like you know like spring mineral mountain huh? what was your favorite sparkling <laughs> um but uh i hope you have a wonderful week uh you guys are gonna do great this week um and i'm proud of you and i'm rooting for you and you have a lot of people rooting for you as well Mwah. Do your best this week, chat. Oh god, I said chat. I keep on doing it. I keep on doing it. I've been streaming too much. Oh, one more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, do your best, guys. Do your best. I love you all so 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 much. Don't die to the heat. Until next time, my darlings. <laughs>